Hey guys, this is Just One Guy, and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now in this tutorial, we're going to make different types of guns. We're going to make a automatic gun, a semi-automatic gun, a shotgun, and a rocket launcher. Now let me just go over a bit of them. The handgun, it shoots like normal. The automatic gun, it shoots, uh, you just hold it down and it has a continuous fire. The semi-automatic gun, it's like your basic three burst gun. You shoot three shots and uh, I mean, you shoot and it shoots three shots. Shotgun, you basically shoot a, a spread gun. And then I have this assault rifle, which is a assault gun rifle. Now, it's kind of important, I got kind of lazy here, so I left all the gun models the same because I'm just working on how they fire. Now, let's go with the handgun. Just to start it off, we shoot the basic handgun. And you see how that shoots. Then we have the automatic gun. Now I know they look the same, but it actually is a different gun. I just used the uh, same gun model. You can see I can hold it down and it can shoot. Now we're going to use the uh, semi-automatic gun. And you can see it shoots in the three burst firing pattern. Then I'm going to use the shotgun. And I know it looks a bit funny with the, the handgun model and everything, but as you can see. Now it's important to note with this system, you can control that spread on how wide the bullets shoot, uh, for, I mean how far apart the bullets shoot, because it's creating essentially a 2D circle in front of the gun, and then it's firing. Then we have, ah, uh, see, this is why I didn't change it. I actually do have an assault gun rifle, uh, model rifle, but look what happens when I shoot. Now, just to prove that I am shooting, I'm going to shoot this target right here. Ah, uh. uh, crap. We hit him mad. Now he's chasing us. But, that's just uh, basically how it works. You see, I couldn't see, and I didn't feel like setting the assault rifle up. Where I had to put it in the hands and move it down and everything. So, I just went ahead and used the same gun model. But, that's uh, essentially what we're going to be making. Okay, now we're back in Unity. Let's see. Uh, let's see a little bit of the setup. Get the gun. First, we'll go with the handgun. And let's go to the prefab folder. Okay, as you can see, I have this script called Weapon Class. Now I've set this up using my inventory system, which I went over in other videos. Uh, it's really simple. We just have this uh, game manager down here with all the transforms in the game and it just holds all our weapons and then on our actual first person we have the character inventory script and we have the inventory and we just set it up by the, uh, the weapon IDs and that's how it finds and instantiates the weapon. We give the weapon a name and then it finds it by its transform ID. Now the transform ID comes from this script right here that's actually on the prefab and you can see it has this ID. This ID just has to match the the uh, ID in here, and it's just that array of how many weapons you want to hold. You change this right here. I want to hold five weapons. I've set one of them up as the handgun. I've set all the guns up before. That's just a little overview of something I went over in the uh, the other tutorial. If you want a deeper explanation, you can go back and watch my character inventory into uh, tutorial. Now let's go to the actual gun and go to the setup. Now we have this weapon class script on here and I've added a few things. First is this uh, fire type. This just tells the, uh, the gun how it's going to fire. Is it going to have automatic fire? Is it going to have semi-automatic fire? Is it going to fire like a shotgun? Oh, I forgot to show off the rocket launcher. But I I'll show that off at the end of the video. Is it going to fire like a handgun or is it going to fire like a rocket launcher? Well, in fact, I'll, sh I'll show you right now. I usually uh, I started recording with a different system because I find the gameplay uh, works a little funny. The frames per rate it shoots a little funny, so I didn't really uh, set it up like that. Hold on, I gotta make a rocket launcher. And just as a little hack, I'm gonna change this handgun into a rocket launcher by simply clicking the rocket launcher button. But anyway, uh, that's the reason we, why I showed you all the guns in the beginning instead of doing it now. So this might be a little choppy. Now this says handgun, but it's actually the rocket launcher because you saw me just change it. And it just fires this rocket. 
and I know it's just a, uh, a square but I didn't have a rocket prefab but that's uh that's basically the rocket launcher it shoots the rocket and on impact it explodes and does a lot of damage now let's go back to the setup we have these uh, different types of fire rates and then these three variables I mean the, yeah these three variables right here controls how fast the, uh, the gun shoots now this one is the only one you need to really worry about I just put this here this is the countdown timer so you can see the timer go down so you can do little fixes just so you can see exactly how much time you want before you uh, to see how fast you want your weapon is but to set the actual speed all you have to do is come down here to the cooldown now this just means we want uh, 0.5 seconds before we can fire the weapon again so we fire the weapon once then it waits 0.5 seconds and then it lets the fire uh, lets us fire lets us fire it again and this is the variable that tells us whether we can fire or not just on the beginning I would check that to true next is the uh, weapon range this controls how far the uh, it, the bullet can get before it gets destroyed now you might have to play with it a little bit because it's not an exact system but I set it to 9 because that's basically uh, it'll let it go all the way across the screen uh, but a shotgun you definitely wouldn't want 9 you wouldn't want a shotgun with that long range and then we have this uh, spear shotgun range now this is kind of weird to explain but when you saw me shoot the shotgun you saw it go, you saw it going to uh, a spread now that controls how wide that spread is it basically creates a 2d circle in front of the shotgun and the shotgun picks a random point on that 2d circle I mean random points on that 2d circle because the shotgun shoots six bullets and then it uh, spreads out depending on that and it goes to that point this controls how wide that circle is so if we were to set it if we were to set it to 10 it would be really wide and it would be a really inaccurate shotgun but if we were to set it to 1 it would be a very accurate shotgun and I believe that's it for that then I've changed I believe a couple of things in shooting the shooting script is on the main camera of course uh, yeah we just had this rocket prefab which I added and this is the actual rocket prefab let's go to that for a second and then we got this time which I set to 0.1 this will set from the script but you should set it just in case and what this is I believe is the time uh, to show the muscle flashes I, yeah I believe that's it but you don't have to worry about it it'll set itself because I set it that way from the script uh, this is the rocket prefab now only thing the rocket prefab needs this is the actual rocket we're gonna be shooting and what it needs is the grenade script because it's essentially a grenade we're just shooting and on here you set the damage how much damage you wanted to do the radius of the uh, blast that we wanted to and this will damage multiple enemies of course and then we set a, a rigid body and of course we uh oh, we did have used gravity checked huh? but uh, yeah we have the rigid body and then we have the bullet controller which we set and the only thing in the bullet controller we have to set is this rocket button to let us know it's a rocket now this realistic and video game shooting doesn't matter I went over that in a previous tutorial why it's here but it doesn't matter because it's a rocket and you would never teleport the rocket to the uh, enemy so it's just gonna automatically use the real the most realistic way of shooting so you don't have to worry about any of that all you have to do is check rocket right here and of course put the bullet speed and the uh, bullet speed too and the weapon range I believe will set itself too so just worry about the bullet speed the bullet speed too which I would set to 12 and 2 respectively and check this rocket button right here and that's it for the uh, bullet prefab now let's get into the scripting now I've changed three scripts right here is uh, well four scripts right here for the use now I'm gonna go over the bullet controller because it's the most simplest Okay, let's uh, try to enlarge this so we can see it a little better. Okay, and the bullet controller, all only thing I've changed is, oh, it tells whether it's a shotgun bullet or a rocket bullet. Now, you have to set the rocket, but the shotgun bullet doesn't matter. The shotgun bullet is going to set itself from script, so it doesn't even matter. Now if it is a rocket it's just gonna say we don't want to shoot in a video ga a game type way which is teleporting a bullet to the uh, enemy we want to shoot this in a realistic way so it's just gonna shoot if it's a rocket it's just gonna shoot in a realistic way and it's gonna ignore the rest of this code down here that tells it what to do if it's not a rocket 
and I believe that was all I 